I'll get most of the stuff right from here. You mean to tell me you're gonna eat this stuff right out of the ground? Well, this is good food. Here, try this. Go ahead. What? <laughs> Goodbye, Doris. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, this isn't bad, Grady. Hey, Pop. You know I was, uh, I was... All right, here we go again. You're not talking to me, right? Well, you're wrong, and you know it. Why don't you just come on out and admit that you're wrong? Yeah. And go out there and do that inventory like you're supposed to, and if I have time when I come home, I'll help you finish it. Mm. Pop, you know I like toast. I'll do it. I knew you would, son. Good morning. I've always given in to you, Pop, but I'm not gonna do it this time. If you want that inventory done, you're gonna have to do it yourself. You got that? And when I come home, I'll finish decorating the tree. What branch would you like your teeth on? <laughs> you can take that tree and them decorations on out of here, because we ain't got no money to be spending on no foolishness. Anything you say, Scrooge. Screws this. <laughs> Come in. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I bring you the greetings of you, Tide. Ho, ho, ho. Go down to the ocean side and stand in the low tide until the high tide commits suicide. You don't upset me, Fred Sanford. I have the feeling of Christmas. And the face of Halloween. What are you starting something for, Pop? Hi, Aunt Esther. Listen, I'm in a hurry. Is there anything I can do for you before I leave? Just put these under your tree, sweetheart. Oh, uh, thanks a lot. <laughs> hey, here's a present here for you, Pop. You spend money on me? It's not the amount of money one spends on a gift, Fred. It's the thought behind it. Well, what is it? Who cares? Look, <laughs> if you leave and I'm going with you, honey, because your father's getting on my nerves. I wouldn't get on no part of it. <laughs> You think you smart, Fred Sanford. But as my Spanish-speaking friends would say, adios, sucker. <laughs> Listen, Esther, now, if that's you again, I'm gonna take your head and use it for an ornament on top of some tree. I'm tired of you. Sir? Sir, that's me. My name is Ronnie Small. Uh, uh I'm Sir. Uh, I'd like to talk to you about a job. Who you think I am, one of the Kelly girls? Well, wait, I'll do anything for it. Huh? Yeah? Yes, I, I need $10 to buy a Christmas present for my mother and father. And I only have two days till Christmas. Anything? Yes, sir. I'll work both days, day and night, for the $10. Two days? Yes, sir. Uh, come on in. Look at this place. Well, my little vegetables, <laughs> I want you to know how happy I am that you've been growing so nicely for me while your daddy Fred's been away. And since you've been so nice, I have a little poem for you. Roses are red, violets are blue, Dorothy's are pink, and Janet's got a hole in them. <laughs> you get it? Oh, hey. What are you doing? I'm talking to your father's plants. Do you mind? No, I don't mind. Have you gotten to the part where you tell them that you're a yo-yo? Lamont. <laughs> You're supposed to talk to plants and vegetables. Oh, yeah, and what fool told you that? 
Nobody told me. I read it right here in this paper in the home garden section. See, it says that it's a proven fact that plants grow best when they feel the vibrations of love emanating from your heart to their petals. Now watch this. Hello, babies! <laughs> Brady, you're gonna be the first old man in history to get busted for molesting a tomato. <laughs> Don't you listen to him, honey. That's what I mean, Grady. You're spending too much time out here in this garden. Man, what, when is the last time you cleaned up the house? When is the last time you cooked? When is the last time you made up your bed? Um, I give up. When? <laughs> you see, that's exactly what I mean, man. You're spending all your time out here in this garden and the house is going to pot. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to fix you an extra special dinner tonight. And to show you that I haven't been wasting my time out here, I'll get most of the stuff right from here. You mean to tell me you're gonna eat this stuff right out of the ground? Well, this is good food. Here, try this. Go ahead. What? <laughs> Goodbye, Doris. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, this isn't bad, Grady. What other kind of vegetables you got growing out here? Well, let's see. I got some uh, lettuces and... Uh, uh, radishes hey, and... Hey, Grady, Grady, what's that scraggly stuff growing over there? Oh, that's parsley, wild parsley. And it, it sprung up by itself. <laughs> Are you sure that's parsley? <laughs> well, sure I'm sure that's parsley. And you know what, Lamont? The great thing about this garden is that it's all organic. No chemicals, no sprays. It's natural. Just a little plant food and that's it. Oh, yeah? Well, what do you use for fertilizer? Nothing. Mrs. Nelson's cat comes by twice a day. Good afternoon, Grady. Oh, hi there, uh, uh, uh... Esther Fool. <laughs> yeah, Esther Fool. Uh, how, how's your whiplash, Esther? Oh, it's fine. It'll be all well on Friday. Well, how do you know it's gonna be well on Friday? Cause the trial is Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a pretty little garden. No, no, hey, hey, wait a minute. Now, Fred told me to keep you out of this garden. <laughs> is that so? Yeah, he said just because he had planted a garden of Eden, there was no reason to let the serpent in. <laughs> Well, I'm here, and I'm staying here. Well, as long as you here, and you stay here, would you mind holding out your arms so you can scare away the crows? These are delivered for you. And forget the tip. I'm writing you off as a tax loss. It's pushy. Look at this. Hey, there's a card. What does the card say? Oh, hey, Pop, it's from the convention chairman, Mr. Smith. He just wanted to welcome us to Hawaii, and he said he'll be in touch with us later. Well, let's go and unpack and head for the beach. All right, I'm Hawaii for that. Hawaii is calling. Ah. Hey, son. Hey, Pop. Where'd you get that outfit? Uh, Bubba gave it to me for a going away gift. Oh, yeah, it looks adorable. Yeah, his wife cut it down from a pair of slacks. Well, I guess if you live in a $135 a day suite, you can afford to wear outfits like this. Yeah, hey, what do you say we get some of them Hawaiian drinks? Hey, I don't know, Pop. The sun and booze just don't mix, man. It could hit, this, you. It could hit you pretty hard. Listen, son, you only live once. Let's celebrate. Everything's on the house. Yeah. Waitress! Waitress! May I help you, sir? Oh, yes, uh, I'd like to have uh, two Mai Tais. Make them double and heavy on the rum. Right away, sir. Uh, just a moment. Uh, what do you want, son? Well, I'll just have one of yours, Pop. You can't have one of my Mai Tais. You have to have one of your own, your ties. Uh, give him uh, his tie. You know, Pop, I'd like to bring Janet here someday. 
bring a girl here? Sure. You're crazy. That's like taking a kumquat to the Garden of Eden. <laughs> Stop that. Hi there, Fred G. Sanford, Sanford and Son, Los Angeles. We're with the junk man. How about you? <laughs> My son and I were invited here by the committee. We got a great big suite upstairs. Well, at least he's alive. <laughs> this hurricane's gonna hit here in about an hour and a half. Gonna kill everybody. <laughs> hey, your swimming trunk's on fire. Could you stop annoying that man? I'm not annoying this man. He's enjoying it. Look how happy he is. <laughs> hey, uh, what are you gonna tell all your friends when you get back to Tokyo? It's Brooklyn. And I'm gonna tell him some jerk's been bugging me at the pool. They're starting the hula lessons now, sir, on the beach, if you'd like to get in on it. Come on, son, let's go. We don't want to miss nothing. Come on. <laughs> that old turkey's gonna dance. He'll be busy for a while. Okay, this should be a good time to make the switch. Yeah, I'll get the suitcase out of the car. Mm. I'll make sure we don't leave the beach. Well, that takes care of that. I'll see you later, Pop. Where are you going? I'm going out to get some firewood for the fire. No, son, wait a minute. Don't leave me out here in this barren wilderness. Now, just relax, Pop. Now, I'll be right back. Now, just enjoy the peacefulness and the quietness and the solitude of the forest. I'll be right back. Don't worry about a thing. Sting like a bee. Nobody out in the forest meaner than me. Come on, elephants, tigers, and gorillas. I whip a hundred Godzillas. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pop. I didn't mean to scare you. I just want you to help me with the firewood. You didn't scare me, son. Uh, let me loosen my belt. For what? I think my heart dropped in my drawers. <laughs> Just relax. Pop, you're safe here with me. Now, let, let, give me a match so I can start the fire. You don't need no match to start no fire. All you have to do is rub two pieces of wood together. Now, go over there and rub your head inside the tree. <laughs> I said I was sorry. Now, I just wanted you to come camping with me, Pop, so we could be alone. I mean, who knows? Once I get married and and have a family and got all responsibility of a family, we might not be able to spend any time like this alone. Promise? <laughs> Why do we have to argue all the time, Pop? We don't argue all the time, only when we're together. Well, why can't we talk like normal fathers and sons? Well, you start. No, you start. 
You start. Why don't we talk about the first time I, I went camping? Oh, yeah. I never forget that night. I, I was afraid you'd be scared out there, sleeping in the backyard all by yourself. Yeah, but I told you I wasn't going to be scared. Well, they woke up the whole neighborhood screaming. I, I'm afraid to sleep by myself. I'm afraid to sleep by myself. I'm afraid to sleep by myself. Yeah, and I had to come in the house and calm you down. <laughs> You always was a good son. Yeah. You see, Pop, that's what I miss. We haven't talked about things like this in a long time. Yeah, this is kind of nice, peaceful, sort of relaxing. It's, it's... It's a spider! That's it! That's it! As far as I'm going, I'm going home in the morning. I'm ready! Oh, come on, Pop. I'm ready with your kids!